Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am at the StarCraft, and I am actually back with another great cast from Gigabyte Cup. It is going to be a best of three between our two opponents here. We've got the green Protoss Slider and our red Zerg, as you can already see from the chat, MTW Damaga. Both pretty good players. Damaga, um, I know most about. He is a macro-centric Zerg. Loves to get in the macro game. Have those long, long games with big 200-200 armies that he just throws at you over and over again. And, uh, you know, we've seen him play a few games where he's won. I've casted the latest game I casted. Um, he did lose. I believe it was to Goody. I'd have to double check, but I'm almost positive it was to Goody's uh, very harassment-style heavy game. So go check that out if you haven't seen it already. Slider, on the other hand, I did do a little peek -see. Um I did see him on Team Liquid. And his uh, his record's pretty good. He's been in a lot of tournaments. He's been on a few teams. He was um, his latest team, I believe, is AAA. Um, but he, I don't believe, is on a team anymore, as indicative by his name. Uh, he is actually only diamond level in the EU server, ranked in the top 50. Um, so I don't know too much about him. He's, he has played in a few smaller tournaments. He has played on. Um oh, I just realized I had to sit to normal. There we go. That's why everything's always so slow. So he has won a few smaller tournaments. He's actually come close, um, second in a few other ones. He hasn't really participated in anything big, and my cat is trying to drink my iced tea. Um, but he is definitely, uh, as far as I could tell from what he's won, who he's played in the past, a decent player. And it has been said that the EU ladder is uh, a bit more difficult than the North American ladder. So him being on diamond, especially high diamond, uh, he's ranked one, I believe. Um, just means he I mean he could be to potentially be just as good as a Masters I mean we'll see Demaga is a Masters League player so we will have to see just how good he is against such a such a player and I'm excited Pro Protoss versus Zerg is one of my favorite all-time matchups and uh, it's just it's always interesting different kind of strategies uh, the Protoss could pull out early game if they want to do forge fast expand uh, typically on the bigger maps that's what we'll see and we may see that here hang on mm. and I got my iced tea and I'm just ready to roll and kick some ass so We'll see what happens. Demaga, as I see, uh, opening up with a, a, f a pool gas first, which is very smart, uh, especially against a Protoss, especially on the higher leagues. Almost nine times out of ten, a Protoss is going to block your natural um, well before you are able to get a drone down there. So getting the, the Zerglings up early so you can have those Zerglings to pick off that probe when it does poke in and kill off that pylon is a much safer way to open up in the early game than, say, hatch first. Um, like I said, in the lower leagues, you don't see it too much. You don't really see a pylon block too often. If you do, it's rare, and a lot of the times, Zerg players in the lower leagues don't really know how to handle it. Um, but in the higher leagues, it's almost guaranteed that that's what you're going to see. So that's why he got those Zerglings out first and chased down that probe. And now he's going to be able to grab his hatch. We didn't see a pylon block going down, but we did see a fast expand. Um, with the, the forge dropping down, we got a cannon to block it. This will prevent any Zerglings, really, from running by without them getting their asses killed. Um, the Pull up a uh, pylon just to block off that edge over there and a gateway dropping down. So, uh, typical opening on a bigger map like this. Once M uh, once Demaga sees this, he's going to want to react one of two ways. Typically, there's only two ways you can react to a Protoss fast expand and uh, do it relatively safely. That is either to get roaches really, really fast and to try to punish your opponent for going uh, fast expansion first. Or uh, on a bigger map like this, especially since roaches can be so slow off creep until you get layer tech and you don't really have time, just to grab another expansion of your own, grab those three bases, and to just at and just out macro them um, by having one extra base being one base up on your opponent. So we'll see what Demaga tends to uh, decides to do. Again, on a bigger map like I said, going roaches is so risky because they are so slow off the creep. And by the time they get here, the troops could be warped in. We'll see, you know, it just it's it's something that typically is just a little too dangerous to do. And uh, so we'll see exactly what happens. Looks like he's going to be going one gate, Stargate. Um, so we'll probably see some early Void Rays uh, popping out of the Stargate, as is typically what you see. Uh, just to do pick off any Overlords, getting early early air command, and be able to do some very harassment heavy uh, type of play. Um, it looks like the Magas is going to continue to drone up. If we take a look at the work account, he, they are even in the work account. Nothing spectacular isn't ahead or behind. Um, the speedling upgrade is done. Has a second queen, or uh, third queen, should I say, out for that creep spread. And just going to continue to drone away. And I'm curious what he's deciding to do here. He is a little bit late on, uh, on the roaches. If he's planning on doing roaches. And that third base, you know, typically when you see that third base is up, the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the Protoss' natural is up. It's much, much, much safer to get that third base as early as you can. So the longer Demaga kind of puts off grabbing a third base or going roaches, the more of an advantage he's putting Slider into. 
Um, the natural's a little bit oversaturated right now. He probably did, he did just do uh, pop a bunch of roaches. So he's looking like he's definitely saturated both bases, maybe a little oversaturated. Uh, and now he's going to be grabbing his third. So he's going to be grabbing it still. Um, pretty early. You usually see a third go down around the 10 minute mark. Uh, grabbing it around the 8 minute mark is considered early. But when you see a natural uh, Protoss grab that, you want to grab it a little earlier than that. Sometimes around the 6 minute mark is when you want to drop it me the 6 30 second. So it's about a minute to 30 seconds, a little off. Maybe you just want to get those drones up and going prior to dropping that base. And now we do have the Roach Warren going down as well with a couple of Spine Crawlers, uh, Spore Crawlers rather, as he does know that he does have an air presence. And Slider is going to be sending out that Void Ray to uh, nick off anything he can kill. Uh, going to be grabbing that Zergling over there. I do believe he got his uh, Overlord that was poking around over here and is going to be killing off this Pylon now. I apologize. I love my iced tea. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. So I just wanted you all to know that as I do take breaks to drink him in the Robo Bay. Uh, Robo Facility, rather, is going to be dropping as well. We'll probably see an Observer popping out of this uh, in no time, just to keep an eye on his opponent. And there is another Void Ray. So two Void Rays on the field, definitely going to be doing some damage. But the Queens, he is prepared, as he does have three Queens over at his natural, with one extra over here. So four Queens, more than enough. Um, if he does catch this um, nat, uh, third going down, though, if he had caught that a little early with those Void Rays, there would have been very little chance he could have defended. He would have had to drag his Queens over, but... Creep's already there now, and the third is pop, so he's got to be a little bit safe. Good, so got some good map control. Got his Zerglings over one of the Zelnaga Watchtowers, though. Why over in this one? I'm unsure. Uh, it looks like they're having a conversation. Two question marks. Demaga says, you lagging. Why? I assume that means yes with a winky face. So it looks like they'll be having some lag issues that they are going to be working out as I cast this. Oh, look, it's already fixed. The only observer to go. They paused it and made sure everything was taken care of. So we'll go back to the game now. now. Ooh, Slider going for his third. Very, very risky and very, uh, any, any, uh, Terran. I'm sorry, not Terran. My phone rang and I got confused. Any Protoss on three bases is extremely dangerous. Um, and I have to hand this. I'll be right back. All right, I apologize about that. Rather important phone call, as I did break my girlfriend's computer screen, and I am now paying for it, so I am waiting for the screen to come back. But that's neither here nor there. I did say Protoss are extremely powerful on third bases, and I would not lie, as they are one of uh, the more dangerous races to have on three bases, and especially against a Zerg. If the Zerg catches wind of this, you want to try and shut this down as fast as you can. Um, it looks like he's going to be going for, Damaga is going to be going for three base Infestor play. Uh, Infestors can be extremely potent against a Protoss army. Uh, that fungal growth can just do a number. Um, and, you know, Damaga is one of his favorite, favorite builds, as I do believe one of my older casts um, um, are Infestor Zergling. And, you know, with that mix where you fungal growth an army, you surround them with Zerglings and just take them out can be completely devastating. He is going to be catching wind of this um, a little a little on the late side as it is about to be finished. And uh, looks like he's going to have plenty of sentries and zealots to be taking care of this as they will be able to drop those money force fields and block off everything they can. Um, mm. But it's not surprising at all to see Damanga going in Fester as, again, that is one of his Fester Zergling. It's pretty much his staple build. And uh, that's pretty much what he uses almost always. Um, and then can transition over to, if it gets to the late game, he transverses over to Ultra Lord, uh, Ultra Lords, wow, Ultra Lisks. I can't speak today. I had a very long day at work, as always, so. Also, guys, um, while there's a little low and they're gathering their armies, and it looks like he's going to be moving out, so I will keep that announcement for later. I'm very... Uh, excited to see if this attack's gonna do much. A couple of roaches mixed in there. Very curious to have a couple of roaches as there's literally only three. And three ass slow queens. Holy crap. Slowly inching their way across the grass on their way. And these zerglings are like itching and antsy on their way over. Like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, God, we gotta wait. Okay, we're gonna sit over here. Let's move around. Like, all right, the surrounding infestors. Hey, roaches wanna have a party? So, and these queens are like, hang on, kids. Just wait for grandma. We're on our way. We will make sure you guys get your candy if you just wait for us. And now he's moving on in. He is sending in a Zergling just to see what he's got for an army. And those Colossus look pretty damn dangerous. And now he's going to be moving in. Only a couple of the Infestors up front. Um, force Fields dropping. A great choke. And look at that. Completely walling it off with Force Fields, Pylons. And the rest are just clogging. Completely shutting that attack down. Oh, damaga has got to be feeling the hurt. Now he's got to run away. This queen is all but dead. Uh, uh, run, queens, go faster. Run, run, faster. Uh, force fields can't save. And they're going to maybe get away. And now the void rays. And now the, the, the festers of the are going to try so desperately to try to save them. 
but the sentry's gonna be dropping extra for a uh, random force field here trying to block him off and the guardian shield to give them protection they need all those are pretty much wiped out now the infestors are going to be going down if you look at the units killed he has killed 65 units to demagas nine that is no bueno senor as now these colossus is gonna step up off the sledge here they just start wiping out everything they can more infestors have been popping out in the, in the meantime he has been macroing up an army trying to get more zerglings and infestors up so he's gonna be dropping some more fungal girls trying to survive but these amazing force fields saving a good chunk of those stalkers and every stalker you can save against this kind of army is going to really help and now he's just kind of throwing his units at him hoping ever so desperately that he can finish this off but it does not look like the mom is going to be able to win this this one void ray at three health and now his shields are recharging hero void ray right here with 12 kills doing so much better and the ground army is going to clean up the rest of the zerg forces there goes the void ray and now this one infestor is just going to sit here wait for his demise as these Stalkers and Colossus jump up, and this is the power of two early two base uh, Protoss, and that is going to be GG from Namaga. So that is going to be game one of this best of three, four gigabyte. As I was saying, though, guys, I have uh, indeed chosen the winner for the tournament of Spanishiwa's free coaching lesson. Uh, I will have a video announcing that winner and potential uh, a bunch of ideas for potential new giveaways for my subscribers. So I'll probably be putting up something to a vote. So look for that video come Friday. That's when I plan on posting it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next cast.